Hello everybody, my name is Lena. This video is probably going up really late in the month. Today I wanted to bring you basically all the new releases are coming out this month. I was planning to actually release this video in February, but with me being absolutely and disgustingly sick, it was impossible. So hope I'm not too late and maybe you missed on some of the previous releases. So let me show them to you. I'm including here basically titles that I'm actually interested on because if I've told you absolutely everything that is going to come out I wouldn't have the time like at all so things like Sarah J Maas and Cassandra Clare are not going to be included I'm sorry because I have no interest in reading their books sorry starting March the 3rd so many things came out this day including those things that I don't want to talk about but on the third, we first have Blackwood by Michael Ferris Smith. If you see me looking over there, it's because I have my laptop there to watch everything, basically. This is basically a mystery horror novel. It's basically set in rural Mississippi and there's a forest where really bad things happen. That's all that I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you like really brief synopsis, synopsises, maybe, for the books because I know that many people don't really like to know much before going into their books, so there are going to be like one, two sentences, nothing more. I'm basically going to tell you what I was attracted to for reading what Goodreads is telling me. Then, also the third, a book that I have actually already bought and is coming my way. This is The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Scholte, I think it's called. But this is the same author as The F Four Dead Queens, I think that it was called. But it was also a standalone. This is basically a fantasy YA book with some sparkles of science fiction there. And it's basically set in this world where you can actually talk to dead people. So it sounds really good. I don't know. I wasn't really attracted to her previous novel, but this one has me just like so excited. Keeping with the third, we also have Havenfall, the new novel by Sarah Holland. She's the author of Everless? That it was basically a kind of novelization of the film of the film in time. This is basically a YA fantasy. Basically, Heavenfall is this place where the four worlds are connected and it's basically a safe place for everyone. But everything changes when one day they discover a body in there. So yeah, it sounds quite interesting, I have to say. I wasn't really drawn to her previous work, but this one sounds really interesting. <sighs> yeah, we're still on the 3rd of March. We also have Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. I have never read a Peter Swanson book, but I have always been really attracted to them. It's just that I haven't had, you know, the perfect timing. <sighs> To pick them up because I don't usually buy thrillers and really trying <laughs> to keep my physical TBR contained so I prioritize these books over my audiobooks and over my Kindle books so I wasn't really able to although I'm really interested in reading the kind worth killing. As you can probably tell this is basically a mystery thriller surrounding this author that is basically the center of an FBI investigation because this new murderer is basically using the deaths that happen in this author's books. So it sounds really cool. It's really just it kind of reminds me of Castle. I don't know why, but it does. So yeah, it sounds really good. I'm really interested in this one. I was planning to buy it this month, but it's really really expensive here. I don't know why this hardcover is expensive as fuck here. So I'm going to wait for the paperback. 
then, at last, the last book that came out, the third, was The Midnight Lie by Mary Rukowski. She is basically the author of The Winners Curse Trilogy. Is that how it's called? I haven't read this one. I'm actually really curious about it, but I have never had the chance to read it. This, again, is another YA fantasy. In this world, we basically have this kind of really harsh law and basically poor people aren't allowed to wear any colors and what it was and sampling sweets that's all i know and our protagonist is going to meet with the guy you know what i mean <laughs> then finally changing the day the 5th of march we had the conclusion to the sun search quartet by david Hare. it's called mother of dragons I'm not going to tell you anything about this one because it's not that it's a conclusion to a quartet. Basically, this quartet is also a continuation from a previous quartet that is called the Moontide Quartet that is set in exactly the same world. So <laughs> I'm in the middle of the Moontide Quartet and I'm really enjoying it. I get that it's not for everyone because it's not that it drags, but it has to explain so many things all the time that I realized that people basically find it very slow at times, so I don't know. But basically this is an adult fantasy. In the first quartet, we basically have this land that is separate into two different continents, like very, very different continents. When basically the moon tide happens, a magical bridge appears and, connect bo and connects both continents. So war happens like all the time. This day we also have Hold Back the Tide by Melinda Salisbury. This is a fantasy and it's kind of a really mysterious book but I don't know, I'm being really drawn to it because the synopsis is actually only four sentences. I'm going to read you this one because it's so short that I don't want you to miss anything but yeah basically Everyone knows what happened to Alva's mother all those years ago, but when dark forces began to stir in Ormskaula, Alva has to face a very different future and question everything she thought she knew about her past. I don't know, it sounds really mysterious. I kind of like that. Ah. On the 10th of March, we have The Deep by Alma Katsu. This is quite an interesting story. This is basically a retelling of the Titanic, but with some kind of paranormal elements to it. So yeah, basically the tagline for this book is someone or something is haunting the Titanic. So I don't know, I really like horror. <laughs> Even though I don't read that much horror, I really enjoy it when a book has horror elements on it. So I'm really excited for this one. Then, on the 17th of March, we have Girls with Razor Hearts by Susan Young. This is basically the sequel to Girls with Sharp Objects. I always say sticks, I don't know why. I read the first one last year and really, really enjoyed it. This is basically a science fiction YA type of book, but, you know, with this really nice twist at the end. In the first one, we basically follow this academy for girls where they basically are trained to become the perfect woman and serve men. You know, there's a tagline some places for this book that basically spoils the whole thing. So the less you know about it, the better, trust me, because I thought that it was going to be like a plot twist at the beginning and I was just like, oh, this is the ending plot twist. Oops kind of excited for the sequel because I didn't thought that it was going to have a sequel. Then, in the 24th of March, we have the CD We Became by M.K. Jemisin. This is her new trilogy, I think, that is going to be. This is the same author as the fifth season, the Inheritance, the Inheritance trilogy and the Dreamblood duology. So, yes, you know, a really good record. I have read the fifth season, half of the first book in the Harrington trilogy, and a little bit of the first book in the Dreamblood duology. Their books are basically 
fantasy with some science fiction elements to them and they are really good but they are really confusing at first so <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be able to read the Inheritance trilogy because I read like I don't know hundred and something pages of it and I didn't understand anything <laughs> it was like great fantastic and I kind of DNF'd it for a while the fifth season is an amazing book and if you've never heard of it you should really try it this is basically part of the great cities series and the tagline for this is that five different new yorkers are going to have to come together and five and five and fight to save the city basically it's kind of a mixture between urban fantasy fantasy science fiction but yeah it sounds kind of interesting i think that i'm going to try this book before i read the other work that she has because i think that is, this might be kind of easier for me this day we also have the last human by zach jordan this is a science fiction book actually a space opera but yeah in this one we basically follow the last human in the galaxy basically our main protagonist saria is running away from this super intelligent ai so i don't know I'm really excited for this one. I find that <laughs> for science fiction, I only need like a tagline and I will be just like, ooh, that premise sounds interesting and I won't really need to read the <laughs> rest of the summary or anything like that. So yeah, if you're into sci-fi, this might be the one for you. And second to last, the 30th of March, we have a new self-published book. This is Along the Razor's Edge by Rob J. Hayes. If you don't know him, he's the author of Never Die and The Heresy Within. I've read these two books by him. I didn't finish the entire The Heresy Within trilogy yet, but I'm really excited for this one. It's a new fantasy by him. And we basically have our main character escape from the greatest war of all time and being sent to this prison that is actually the worst thing that could happen to her. And she is basically sent to the pit. That's what it's called. She's basically a strip of her magic and thrown with these thieves and murderers and such. And she's basically going to try to escape. But yeah, I don't know. This sounds so interesting. And I really enjoyed Rob J. Hayes writing style. I find that is direct to the point and I love that. On the 31st of March, yeah, we're on the end already, we have The Night of the Dragon by Julie Kawawa. This is the final book in the Shadow of the Fox trilogy and I read the first one and really enjoyed it. It basically is a anime but written. <laughs> That's it, in a written form. This is a YA fantasy that surrounds Yumiko. She is basically a kitsune, meaning she's able to turn into a fox. And she basically finds herself with a piece of this magical scroll that can grant you anything, I think that it was. And we go from there. We also have this kind of Ronin uh, with his demon sword, it's kind of, fantastically cool. I really enjoyed the first one. I actually just bought the second one and I'm planning on reading it really soon. I was also going to include the new releases for April, but there are so many of them that I was just like, this video is going to be like 40 minutes long and I wasn't going to allow that. We're going to leave it here and the next month I will upload another new releases video. But yeah, also, one last thing, if you're interested in TV shows, we also have coming out Kingdom season two and this is the third season of Westworld this month. Just like a quick heads up for you. That's going to be all for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.